Good morning and welcome to another vlog. So it's Boxing Day today. So I usually do Christmas Day and Boxing Day vlogs. So uh, it's the start of this one and well, say as is usual, most years we'll pop out on Boxing Day and pick up a few things in the sales or mainly what I'm going for is just Christmas cards for next year. I like to get them now in the sale, nice and cheap, put them away and then you've got nice cheap Christmas cards for next year. But yep. And head up to Cabrand, so we'll see when we get there. And we have arrived in Primark. Emma's obviously moaning as usual. Yeah, Mummy's downstairs, I'm not looking upstairs with the kids, but uh, yeah, not much here really. I haven't seen any Christmas stuff unless they moved it somewhere else, but let's go find it. Yeah, so there's not much on sale. I can see these few like Christmas decoration stuff, but other than that, not a lot really. Let's go find Mummy anyway, see if there's any other shops that we can go to. So we're actually back upstairs and Danielle's uh, looking at dresses while the kids are playing hide and seek with each other. <laughs> yeah, she's been looking at these dresses before Christmas. They aren't doing a lot of it, but still quite pricey. Like going from 13 to 7 that one. She's found like a reindeer one. Not half price. That one's £5, yeah, she's fine, which is nice. Yeah, new enough, but not quite. <laughs> Yep, yeah, still just looking at things to buy. As is tradition, when we go anywhere, Emma's up on the shoulders. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> yeah, had a little shop in uh, Primark. Might get a snack in Greg's now and then head to the next shop. Actually, we, works is open, so we stopped in here first. I know Mum was looking at these, and um, they're actually down to 3.75 now, so they were like 20, down to 15, down to 5, and now 3.75, so she might pick them up we'll see yeah i don't know about these these like people seem to like these but i'm not a huge fan of them honest but I forget what they're called but like gnome centers <laughs> i think we're gonna get this just to practice edison's uh writing because he can write really well but yeah it's good to always practice and get better and improve isn't it edison He's looking at the falling monkeys. It's kind of like tumbling monkeys, isn't it? It used to be kaplunk when we were younger. We used to use marbles, Edison, rather than monkeys. Same game, though. Yeah, maybe he's just looking at all the uh, Christmas savings. Thank you. It's only 9.36. So several shops are open, but not loads. But, um, yeah, it's really, really quiet at the moment. thought it might be a little bit busier than this, but I guess, like I'm showing you, most of the shops are still closed at the moment. Maybe they open... Either not at all, or like 10 or 11 o'clock or something, but yep, this little one needs a wee. So we're headed down here to go to the toilets before coming back. So we're finally in the works, just getting our Christmas cards ready for next year. Mummy's out taking them outside because she's having a meltdown, but we need to send a picking cards for next year, ready to put away. They are 50% uh, off, so I'm going to select all the ones, and then, like I say, put them back up in the attic. And we got cheaper Christmas cards for next year. Yeah, so spent £7.77 on all my cards. Got a few boxes for this in school, as well as, uh, you know, all the individual cards. But yeah, we're just in Dunelm now. This is a new one in uh, Cambran. And a quick look at what they've got for sale. So we've left Mummy in Dunelm. We've got to wander up. Yeah, I just sent a Greg's a sausage roll. I want to have a look in one beyond if it is open. I just want to have a look in Matalan as well, just over there. So sausage rolls first. And then onwards, looks like one beyond closed. So Greg's didn't have any sausage rolls. How can they not have any? It was 10 minutes to wait as well for the next batch. So Edison's got chicken bake. we got steak bacon. We're just waiting outside. Massillon to have a look at their sale before heading in. And we're in like a tunnel place where Emma's doing uh, the echo voice. <laughs> yep, let's finish these, head inside and have a look. Literally just down to the left, you can see that there's a range. The world goes now, the range.com or .co.uk, so obviously they bought them out, but I wonder whether that's open with the range stuff inside, but we'll go have a look at that if there is. So first things first, got the, uh, the stockings actually sent off, but it's obviously all your like random letters that I guess don't have many names of, like, well, P, V, X and Y, <laughs> J, and a few, uh, a few more little things over this side. Nice little tumbler there, but for four pounds, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, I wonder if we'll find anything in here. Oh, men's sales are always really rubbish. Up to 50% off, and there's like nothing there. Not really that much nice stuff in here, to be honest. Not for my taste anyway, I guess, but... Yeah. Wandering around here while Mimi looks at the uh, kids and 
women's clothes. Just like whichever shop we're in, whether it's like Primark or you know, obviously Matalan we're in. Always playing like hide and seek and chase each other around the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> He's running away. We'll find him. Ah, oh, so I've done a bit of shopping there. Bought a load of stuff ready for Danielle next year. That was half price. Yeah, we're just been outside and she's buying some stuff as well. Getting like a spending venture in there. Getting some stuff for the house really. So we're getting cushions and whatnot. While the kids are playing in these comfort chairs. Probably looking like one or two more shots before heading back to the house, grabbing some toys and heading for Nanny and Grampy's already. And we have arrived! Nanny and Grampy's house, haven't we? Yeah, again! Again? <laughs> yep, so we're here for the Boxing Day buffet that she's putting together. But yeah, we had a nice fun shopping and plan. Probably could have stayed there longer if we'd have... Uh, well, if we didn't have to come here for 12 o'clock and stuff. But um, yeah, I mean we got few bits and pieces and for a few things to put away for next year and our Christmas card things like that. For now we're at Nanny and Grampy's house. Emma's, we brought a few of the, the toys and stuff. Emma's showing Evan her baby. Baby Rosie isn't Emma? <laughs> and Nanny's getting the Boxing Day buffet ready. See the table set again with all the little just light snacks and stuff, isn't it? And then uh, got the air fryers going to warm up some of the food. And as with every visit, the kids are attacking Uncle Rich. <laughs> Poor Uncle Rich never knows what's hit him. <laughs> there we go. Buffet is ready. So another good space. Kind of like when we were at Uncle Rich and Auntie April. So you got pizzas. Mini sausages, you got potato skins, these are probably like cheese mozzarella sticks or whatever. Obviously all your chocolate cakes and snacks as well, so a lovely spread. Mini sausages, uh, mini sausage, these and bats again. Yep, let's plate up, get the kids some food and tuck in. That was nice, my stuff now. stuff today. But, uh, yeah, we did have dessert as well. I had chocolate log with the uh, cream and I think they had strawberry cat or some of the other. Some of the others. Yeah, we brought the kids, some of the kids' toys and stuff. So this has got like a stackable thing here they had for Christmas. And Emma's playing with her baby and stuff. But today we did remember to bring our sort of quiz games and stuff. We've got a pub quiz one here and then we've also got a is it me, is it you sort of couples quiz I guess you'd call it. So we'll probably play them as well sometime. Okay, so we're gonna do I'm gonna do pub quiz now. Everyone. Okay, so we're gonna do a pub quiz. So we're gonna have Uncle Rich and Aunt April against Ann Edison. Okay. You're you're on Uncle Rich and Aunt April's you're team against, against Nanny and against. Da and Mummy. So I'm gonna read out the questions. We'll take it in turns, and then um, we'll see who wins. Yeah. We'll see first to first to ten points. Okay. Okay. Alright, so we'll start with Uncle Rich and Aunt April first. So what is the capital city, oh sorry, what is the capital and largest city of Kenya? And if you get the answer wrong, I'll pass it over to the other team, okay? It's not Bekele. Aunt April, you Nairobi. There's one, one nail to mum, mum and Danielle. For which event are the Brainley brothers best known? Oh, triathlon. Wait, triathlon. So it's one all, one apiece. Uh, so then read it out. In which? US. In which US? US. US. State. 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 This Jack Daniels whiskey prostate. Produced. Produced. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, Leon. What's your, what's your question? Yeah. It's on the lead. Yeah, it's Tennessee. Tennessee. Slav puts you 9 8 in the lead. <laughs> but I, I don't know if you're going to win it with this question. So I'll read this one, Edison. So balm.com and boy bro are products from which Instagram famous beauty brand? <laughs> They're going to choke at the final Wait, hurdle. Can I ask a question? No. Well, I'm not going to be able to give you the answer. Who's going to correct? All I can say is the question. And... Is, it, uh, is it P. Louise? No, it's not. Who, what, what is it? Uh, Instagram, I've it. Instagram uh, beauty brand The it's... answer was a glossier. Glossier? A glossier. Glossier. No. Never heard of it. Yeah. It's so that's 9 8 to Mummy oh, and. Who's and got nanny. Nine? Mummy and Nanny, and then Courage and Auntie have got eight. So if they get these two right, they can win. Yes! Joan! Oh, nine all. Nine all. It's a fairly tricky question to, to finish. Yeah. Fairly tricky. tricky one to finish, but I guess it's a, you know, a guessable one. Now it's still for Courage and Auntie April. So, what city... What city is... What city is home? To the bird, Burj the bird Khalifa K Khalifa Tower. So, what city is home to the Burj Khalifa Tower? This is to win it. This is to win it. Dubai, it? <laughs> it's Dubai. There's a 10 9 victory to Uncle Rich and Auntie April. <laughs> Very close. Very close. It was a good quiz, though. That a good quiz. <laughs> well done. Well done. Good job. Good job, Uncle Rich and Auntie April. How's it feel? How's it feel winning, being the winners of the quiz this year? Daddy, Uncle Rich won because he, he got his phone and then it was showing him the answer. Oh, no, he wasn't. That was Daddy just pretended. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> you can try again next year to win Nanny and Mummy. Drama Queen. Drama Queen? Yeah. Richard. <laughs> uh, playing like a couple's no, quiz now. So we've actually made our own uh, you and me paddles. Because there are uh, ones over there, just one set. Oh, it's a good thing you can't see the opposite direction of the camera here because we've got a sore loser sat in the corner. <laughs> Clearly, uh, he's uh, going to appeal this decision because uh, he, he thinks Edison wasn't keeping score correctly, but I definitely think he was because me and Mummy won had a nice 4 to 10 victory on the uh, couple's quiz. <laughs> Yes, Edison's uh, scorekeeping was a bit uh, dubious, shall we say. Yeah. But me and Mummy won that one, so we're victors of the uh, couple's quiz. So good job! Yeah, mummy. But yeah, we're just uh, chilling late now. Beauty and the Beast is actually on the live action version. I was doing a little bit of drawing on the whiteboard there. That's actually had some simple maths whiteboard set, but she wants to do some drawing. We're just going to continue chilling out here. Well, I think it's four all now. It's four all. We, we've missed our chance to win. It's mummy and April's chance to win. For the win. What does the abbreviation FYI stand for? For your information. Correct. Yay! Yay! Oh, so congratulations. Nanny and that's April win. <laughs> so I'm a nice relaxed name. <gasps> Emma's making crampy smell of feet. <laughs> Telling me they're yummy. <laughs> Testing Edison on his whiteboard as well. Doing really well with his maths. Now he's writing names on it as well. Oh, is he getting you, Emma? Help! Help! Let's have a look. Oh, good job, Edison. April. Oh, yeah. correct. Well done. Good job. Yep. Chilling out. Playing. And we're back home. So that was a nice fun day at Nanny and Grampy's again. And also a bit of shopping, obviously, this morning. But yep, we're back home now. It's just gone four o'clock really. Well, actually it's half four. Edison looks as though he wants to play his Monopoly Four Guys game, which we played last night. It was really cool. Play that with him. You can see I came in with a show there earlier, but Mummy sent out the kids 
like robo fish there, so they're like swimming around in their tank. You got tapas and worm and their names. That's how it sounds. That's Emma's. So I'm just going to put the camera down now, but thank you Nanny and Grampy for having us and for the Boxing Day Buffet again if you're watching this. But, like I say, he's going to put the camera down and leave the vlog there. So with that, hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoyed everyone and have a nice Christmas day. Oh, you guys, and you're going to